Hi guys, good evening. Welcome to another session of verbal ability. Today we are going to do words and phrases often confused. And this will be a very helpful session uh, because it not only helps you to understand the words, you understand the context of the sentence and also it helps to improve your vocabulary. So it has got a multifold benefit. Yes, guys, amazing. So let's get started. So this is Bobby Yadav. I've taught for various common written exams like MAT, PGC, banking exams, as well as CAT, which is my forte. And I have over a decade's teaching experience in these common written exams. And I have conducted several workshops for a soft skill all across Bangalore as well as you know trained employees lic employees for pre-recruitment as well as for internal promotion uh, <clears throat> guys i worked in several renowned institutions before i joined an academy please subscribe to hashtag cat live daily i repeat please subscribe to hashtag cat live daily uh, okay coming to the telegram channel let's see all we have here just give me a moment Okay, here we are. So we have Manish, uh, we have ZZZ, so Zaka. Zaka, hi. Manish Gupta, Mansi Verma, Babita Bojwani, Ritika Chaudhary, uh, Tanishk, Ashutosh Gupta. A very, very good evening. Um, so, guys, coming to the Telegram channel, please download it ASAP and click on the URL livedaily.me slash chat and look for an academy chat. You will be able to download the PDFs from here. Hi, Amir. Good evening to all of you. Uh, Zaka, good evening. Hi, Satish. Um, okay, so coming to the subscription, again, very, very important. Please pay special attention. Guys, you are just on the threshold of, you know, embarking on a new journey, right? You need to do it correctly. So let's start from the basics. Take help from us. Take a subscription, guys. If you are uh, going to uh, take CAP 2021, go for the 12-month subscription, which is just $14.58 per month. And those who are uh, planning to take CAP 2022, you can go for a 24-month subscription, which is just $8.75 per month. And guys, Use my referral code BYLIVE and you will be able to get 10% discount. So, who else do we have here? We have Vinky. Uh, hi, good evening, Divyansh, Dedicated Soul, Anisha, uh, James Tech, uh, Gol Govind, Sarveshwari Singh. Uh, so, all of you are very good evening and I am good. How are all of you? Uh, excellent. So, here yeah, we are back with another session of words and phrases. Those students who have just voices too low, guys, are you not able to hear me? Guys, are you able to hear me? All of you? Can you just give me a uh, confirmation, guys? Sunai de rahi hu main? Yeah, I'm waiting for your answer. Good evening, Risky. Uh, thank you, James. Hey, morning, nahi hai, Shivani, evening. Hai. You are audible. Uh, it's okay, Shivani. Okay. I am audible. So guys, uh, just let me tell you the benefit of uh, these confused words. First, it helps you to understand the context and use the correct word. Okay. Secondly, uh, you know to differentiate between the meaning of the words. Thirdly, uh, very, very important, it helps you to improve vocabulary because vocabulary because you get to the, know the meaning of the words. So even if you are doing 10 words and there are two in each, um, suppose you're doing 10 sentences and there are two words, two new words in each sentence. So you're learning 20 words, right? So if in the same way, if you're having around 40 words, you're learning 80 words. So 
so that's the benefit guys so um, never take this light so um, okay then we have uh, shivendra hi yogita prince gupta saurabh uh, good evening uh, sangam balaji achal a very good evening let's get started guys let's not waste any more time here goes okay guys so you are given a set of five sentences now each sentence has two words two confusable words you have to choose the correct answer okay quickly guys um start go through the please go through the sentences carefully and then select hi roma hi rohit bear asangam uh, bear minimum you say na bear minimum means the least Yes, guys. Once you're sure, please start answering. So I am getting in some answers now. Please don't answer for B, guys. I don't want anyone to answer for B now. Just answer for A now, because you will be disturbing the others. Please do not answer for B. Only we have a lot of time. We can discuss each and every word. okay guys so those who have answered it as a that is the first one is the correct answer it is airy airy means a room guys a room built high up from where you can see the aerial view a room built high up so that you can see the view so if you look at this airy means a uh, windy uh, you know there's a lot of ventilation right yes correct balaji rao you are very correct so architect spoke of a three story tower with bedrooms and a bird watching bird watching airy means it has to be somewhere it has to be placed somewhere high from where you get the aerial view okay so uh, whereas if you look at airy it can be you know with uh, breezy okay uh, or it may be the reference may be to ventilation correct uh, then move now move on to the second one now you please answer for b do not answer for c okay just concentrate on b no winky please don't because it disturbs the other students they will not be able to concentrate so let's go one by one we have a lot of time
so i am getting a mixed bag of answers b1 b2 okay guys the answer is 2 2 is the answer because augur means to predict or forecast predict or forecast okay gun battles in the capital do not augur predict well for the next round of voting whereas if you look at augur it is a tool good evening aishwarya you don't know the meanings anyway i have explained yeah tanishk very good augur is a tool whereas augur a u g u r is to predict or to forecast yes it is b2 uh, is it clear now those who didn't know the meaning is it clear now Great. Who want to see, guys? Now answer for C. C. Uh, I'm getting some answers for C. Some are saying two, some are saying one. People saying one. Yes, so actually the answer is uh, one. It is peaked. Peaked means to arouse interest. To arouse interest is peaked. Uh, Babita, I have written the meaning, see, to arouse interest, whereas peaked means highest degree. So, the answer is P-I-Q-U-E-D. Yeah, the answer is 1. Did all of you follow, guys? Yeah, to arouse interest, to arouse curiosity. You're right, Amir. Please move on to D. Unprecedented dead means uncontrollable. Not expected, unexpected. Okay, the next one D. Uh, all the landing pa all of the landing party were left behind. The dash remaining where they touched down. Well, yeah, it is D2. This is a support for a place, right? Base is a support for a place. It is a support for a place, right? And what is the meaning of basis? Basis means reason for doing something.
Are you clear guys about this? All of you? Yeah, D2 is the answer. Yeah, move on to E guys. Most of you have given me the correct answer. Move on to E. So this will be them. Besought them not to close it to anyone. Yes, guys, go on to E quickly. E is but immediately. Manish, I'm just reading it out. But immediately perceiving that he had discovered his vision, he besought them not to close it, disclose it to anyone. Simlesh, I give you the meaning when I discuss the answer. So guys, the answer is, are you answering? It is to. Besought means to beg. To beg. Yeah? Whereas, besought. Besought means dull with drunkenness. A person who is completely drunk, he'll be dull, no? Dull with drunkenness. The answer is two. Begged. He begged them not to disclose it to anyone. Yeah, it is two. Achal, did you did you note the meanings? Achal? Please use besought. So I can say he uh, he was so smitten. I can say uh, Ravi was so much in love with Radha that he besought him, besought her to marry her him. That um, I repeat it again, Ravi was so much in love with Radha that he besought him to marry, besought her to marry him. Did you follow? Perceiving means uh, seeing. Perceiving means to see. Perceiving means to see. Did all of you follow? Tanish, did you note the sentence? Tanish? Ravi ne bought galat kya? <laughs> Clear? Guys, can we move on? Are all these words clear? Okay, okay I am moving on. Here. Move on to the next one.
Yes, answer for A, guys. Yes, so the first one, guys, uh, the officer was indicted. Indicted means what? Accused. Accused for fraud. Whereas indicated, indicated means to show. Right? Correct. All of you gave the correct answer. You can move on to the next one. Answer for B. Welcome, Tanishk. Please answer for the second one. So, guys, B, B, the answer is inflicted. Inflicted means to make someone suffer. To make someone suffer. Whereas if you look at afflicted, afflicted means to cause pain. Afflicted means to cause pain. Very interesting class. Thank you, Anisha. Yeah, it is B2. Inflicted. To make someone so, they make them suffer a humiliated defeat on the home team. Yeah. Fine. Move on to C, guys. C. Guys, like or share kar dena. Ek minute ka baat hai. Fata -fat like or share karo. Itne log dekh rahe ho? Kya hai guys? Come on, ek min, ek minute ka break lo aur fata fat jaldi jaldi like aur share karo. Yes, you can move on to C. So, my dear, to cause pain, to cause pain, Afflicted. Affliction is when you get pained. There is a difference, my dear Yogita. See, in this context also, you cannot say that they caused pain or humiliated defeat, right? Okay, uh, yes, uh, for, the, uh, for uh, this one, for C, the answer is intense. Intense means extreme degree. Okay, it was forced to yield, whereas intensive means involving a lot of work. Involving a lot of work. That is intensive. Right. Did all of you follow? What happened Zaka? Quick 
quickly go to intensive means really no zaka intensive like i go for an intensive workout every day that means it involves a lot of work a lot of workout right are you able to get the meaning please answer only for d risky don't answer for e neha prasad is it d1 or d2 So guys listen listen so perfection perfection is a laudable aim that is deserves praise laudable aim that means it deserves praise deserving praise and laudatory means expressing praise no it is not d1 it is d2 laudatory is expressing praise expressing praise so perfection is a laudable aim in sport but rarely if ever is it attainable it is praise worthy you can say laudable can also mean praise worthy okay no no tanishk no 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 that is laughable tanish that is laughable dear applaud applaud laudable laudatory is all connected to praise yes now e is of course a uh, chord because it is a thin string whereas a c h o r d is like you have a circle right a straight line connecting two ends on a curved surface got it the second one is a uh, two great abhi good can we move on to the next one chalo fatafat yeah that is a different chord Six out of ten, four out of five. Okay, move on to the next one quickly, guys.
No, no, Vimlesh, that is wrong. I have given you the meanings. Please check. Uh, yes, guys. So for A, the answer is hue. Hue means to uh, shape, to shape, shape with a sharp tool. Shape with a sharp tool. Whereas this hue means color. So the answer is hue. H E W. A is one. Okay, move on to B guys quickly. Q is to do with color. Guys, uh, so, close friend of Prime Minister John Howard will get the job as Australia's chief. It is censor. Censor means, who is a censor, guys? A person who examines uh, books or films. Limbs, right? I made a mistake. One second, guys. Limbs. So, whereas sensor means it is a, a container to keep incense. Agarbatti, Agarbatti rakhne ka jaga hai. That is what is sensor. That one. Sensor is to hide something. No, my dear. I gave you the meaning. It is a container where you keep Agarbattis. Incense sticks. See, you learn so many words. Move on to see guys. Please move on to see quickly. Hurry up, hurry up. So the Bosla Raja forfeited Orissa to the English who had already occupied it with a flying column and Berat to the Nizam who gained a fresh addition by every act of complacence to the British government. Meet Patel, you are right. Meet Patel is right and he is the only one who gave me the right answer, guys. What is this? Complacence. This is the correct answer. That means willingness to please. When you want to please someone. Whereas complacence means self, 
uh, very uh, self satisfied don't know the meaning i gave you the meaning self satisfied so what happened uh, what is the meaning okay see uh, that is the raja there is one raja bhosla now he gave orissa to the english who had already occupied it earlier and he gave berat to the nizam who gained a fresh addition by every act now he got some uh, favors from them because they were you know willing to please the british government Okay, move on to D. Guys, move on to D. Hurry up. Yes, the answer is two guys. Signet. Or an iron signet means a seal set in a ring. It is a seal which is set in a ring. That is signet. Whereas this signet is a young swan. A young swan is called a signet. स्वान को हंस बोलते हैं ना हिंदी में हंस अ यंग स्वान ओके मूव ऑन टू ई गाइस Move on. So it is a seal, guys. वो थप्पा होता था ना? Stamp, stamp. A stamp set in a ring. That is signet. S i g n e t. Winky. <coughs> yes, guys. Uh, so e, it is one. Tile, which is a set of steps. Okay, whereas a style is your uh, a particular way, right? It is E is one. Correct, risky or right? Did all of you follow, guys? Any uh, doubts you all have? All these words are clear. Yes. Okay, I'm moving on to the next set of questions, guys. Quickly.
so babita you have to just jot them in a book put them all together in a book go through it once in a while so five questions you got only two correct bye anchal at least you should know the contextual meaning na so and honesty dash and equity were said to be the fundamental principles in the court correct a is to conscience honesty and conscience honesty conscience and equity so this what is conscience a sense of morality right sense of morality whereas conscious means to be awake or aware awake or aware right yes who want to be guys So the answer is B is two guys. C discreet is the answer is to be prudent. To be prudent or wise. Okay. Now discreet means separate. This is not the answer. It is two. Look at the context of the sentence, guys. He knew Andre to be uh, discreet, that is very wise and prudent. But could, could even he withhold these secrets from Gabriel, the deity who raised him from the dead? So it is two. Who want to see, guys? guys ab jo jo abhi abhi aaye ho fatafat like aur share karo jaldi jaldi deity is uh, 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 see deity can be a an idol also an idol you have the durga ma deity right so the answer now the new basketball player from india is being called the ghost for his ability to elude elude means what to evade evade the opponents okay and what is the meaning of elude elude means indirect Allude means indirect. So your answer is one. C is one. Manish, it is not C two. It is C one. Allude means to be indirect. So that doesn't fit in the context, no.
move on to D. Be careful, guys. Evade means to avoid. Yeah, so here guys, the answer is D is to device. Now this is a noun, right? Whereas this device is a verb. And what does D-E-V-I-S-E -E mean? To create. Right, so answer is D is to. We are talking of an e-book reading device. It should be a noun. It can't be a, it can't be a verb. Pratyusha. Yes, it is two. Move on to E, guys. Yes, Tanishq. Move on to E, guys. So, the fact that some Bollywood movies are good doesn't imply or infer. It is imply. Imply means to suggest. Infer is not correct. This is to deduce. Okay, guys, Kia. It is not infer, Manish. Infer is to deduce, whereas imply means to suggest. Yes, Pratyusha, it is one. Can we move on to the next one? Quickly, guys. Infer means to deduce, Meet Patel. Deduce. Oh, okay. So, deduce mean, meaning to come to a conclusion. Those who ask the meaning of deduce, it is to conclude, to come to a conclusion. It is to conclude. Okay. Move on to the next one. Okay, the dash is the center of the place of worship was empty while seven statues kept watch over it. Yes, the answer is altar. Altar is a platform, right? Which is used for worshipping. It's a sacred platform. Right, whereas altar means change. So the answer is two. Hebo, it is two, my dear. Yes, correct. Move on to B. Guys, move on to B.
Okay. He, he turned and without hesitation began the short ascent. Ascent is the word. Means to climb. To climb up. Whereas ascent is consent. When you agree. Consent or agree. That is A-S-S-E-N-T. That's ascent. Okay. Correct. It is A-S-C-E-N-T. That is the word. Move on to the next one. C. I want answer for C. Okay, give me a, yeah, correct. So for the, for C, she covered into a hiding place, trying to breathe. Now breathe is the verb. Okay, whereas breath is noun. It is C2. Right? It is breathe, Winky, trying to breathe. When you, Sas Lena. Okay, that is breathe. Not breath. Breath is noun. Move on to D, guys. Move on to D. C is D, guys, not one. That is the noun. Here she was trying to breathe. Saas lena. Saas lene ko B-R-E-A-T-H-E bolte. C is two. Yes, Aishwarya, you are right. Very good. The second one, the option D, it is the second one. Course means rough. Rough earthen bear. Whereas course is path. Means path. Porcelain. Uh, porcelain is a type of earthenware, Ritika. In, uh, see, nowadays also, you get these uh, decorative pots that is white, white color with blue uh, decorations in that, right? That's a kind of a porcelain vessel. Earthenware it is actually. You will find it on the roadside. Yeah, so here I would like... To ask everyone to raise their glass in a toast to my sister and her new husband, Nora and Jones, a pair who complement. Complement means they, they look good together. Okay? They are, uh, what do you say, they look good as a companion. It is complement. Whereas compliment is praise. It is two. So guys, uh, how many words did you learn today? How many words did you learn? We had, we had five uh, questions, five set of questions, and each question had had two words each. So how many did you? How many words did you learn? Yes, 
Now let me see how good you are at quant. 26? Manish, see, if you are having one set of questions, 5 into 2 is 10. 50 questions you have, 50 words you have learnt in this session. What, my dear? Yes, you've learned 50 new words. Isn't it good? Previously also, I gave you another session of uh, uh, confused words, right? Very good. Hey, 50 words, dear. Okay, so some words you knew. But generally, it's 50. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me in this session. I hope you enjoyed it. Our morning session of verbal ability is taken by Harpreet, ma'am. Uh, she takes it from 9.30 and then the evening session of verbal ability is taken by me from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Guys, do not forget to like and share before you leave, okay? Pakka pakka sab like or share karna hai, theek hai? Or then after me, Amit sir takes quantitative ability from 8 to 9, followed by Ashish sir who takes, uh, <laughs> Ashish sir who takes LRDI. And then again, quantitative ability by Pratik sir from 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. Please do subscribe to hashtag Cat Life Daily. The new ones, the new students, please do it. It is free of cost. So you will be able to get the notification of the class. Uh, you are welcome, guys, all of you. You are welcome. I hope it has benefited you. Then coming to the Telegram channel, please download it ASAP. Click on the URL. And uh, that is livedaily.me slash chat and look for an academy cat. You will be able to download the PDF from here. Then coming to the an academy subscription, guys, you are just embarking on a new journey preparing for cat. Let us help you out in this journey, guys. You can join in, take a plus subscription. There will be live classes. You can interact with us on a daily basis. Uh, and the mock test series which is very very important for cat is included and then every fourth session would be a doubt clearing session thank you pratyusha and uh, what do you have to go just go to play store download an academy learning app and install and what do you find here you have to look for plus platform your goal is cat and you will find 30 hours of live sessions every day it's up to you how many sessions you would want to attend and these sessions are available in english and hindi and 14 more than 14 top educators will be there to help you out and we publish new courses every month at the moment i'm running a cat 2021 course just started with the basics if you want to join in please join in asap i have the class from monday to friday at 8 15 am right to 9 15 am every day except on saturdays and sundays okay and guys those who are planning to give a cat next year you can go for uh, the 12 month subscription which is just 1458 and those who are planning to take it in 2022 you can go for the 24-month subscription, which is just 875. Apply my referral code, guys, BYLIV, and you will get 10% discount. Now, that means your 12-month subscription, which is 17,500, will cost you just 15,750. And for 24 months, which is actually 21,000, will just cost you 18,900. Okay? So, just see the benefit guys you're getting a discount and you're trading it off with immense amount of knowledge so please go ahead take a subscription okay and then do like and share this video before you leave guys and uh, those who are new please subscribe to hashtag cat life daily you will be able to get the notifications of the class and it's not only cat there's neat je 9 10 11 12 all available at an academy and last but not the least, my referral code again is BYLIVE. Uska matlab hai jab aap subscription le rahe ho aur aapko referral code poochte hai, to please use this referral code BYLIVE aur 10% discount le li jega. Okay, tada, see you, I'll see you tomorrow, sharp at 7 with another interesting session of analogies tomorrow.